Hey there, I'm Phil and I'm Ash and welcome to our channel where you'll learn to captivate influence and unleash your most confident self wherever you are. Today we're going to talk about how you can stop procrastinating and start actually achieving your goals and dreams. Absolutely and to kick off we're going to talk about why you might be procrastinating okay and there's a few options here but one of the one of the common ones is a fear of failure or a fear of judgment. Um, and I mean, we've probably all experienced that when we're essentially deep down, we're nervous to start because we're nerv we, we think it might, our actions might not come to anything or we might just fail. Another one is that we've just got a lack of vision. Okay, we're not clear on what it is that we feel like we should be doing or what we want to achieve. Okay, and similarly to that, just being quite short sighted, um, not in terms of whether you wear glasses or not, but, um, you know, you've got quite a narrow view of you're not looking to the, beyond the next year, maybe, or, or the next few weeks or the next few days, or you're just getting distracted with little treats and things in front of you, uh, which is also a form of procrastination. And another reason why you might be procrastinating is actually you're just not interested in the activity that you've got in front of you, you know, or you, you know, your goal is in over here and you might just be on the wrong track. So you just just don't really care that much. It doesn't really excite you. So you don't want to do it. And on a similar thing to that is maybe you're procrastinating because you deep down don't think your activity is going to lead towards the goal that you want to go, i.e. your activity, is just, it's not going to work. So if you don't believe it's not going to work, you're going to put it off and you're just not going to do it. It's just not going to excite you. It's not, you're not going to feel any necessity to do it because you're not getting the results. And now we're going to move on to you know, the, a few tips. Uh, on how you can get over the this this procrastination and actually start making proper progress towards achieving your goals, and linking on to the fact that you don't believe your actions are are going to lead to results is our first tip. Okay, trust the process, and this is very common in the fitness space, in weight loss in particular, something that you know we've had a lot of experience in, and. Uh, Ultimately, we tell people to trust the process when they're looking to lose weight because we, there is a, a defined process to, to losing weight. There is a defined process to starting a business as well. There's a defined process to, um, to starting a, a YouTube channel. And there's a lot of, I mean, these processes out there, of course, are little uh, nuances, nuances and tweaks for, for individual people. But essentially, there's a lot of people who have proven these processes. And if you want to do what these people have achieved, You've got to trust that process and it might take time. You might not kick off your business within a month. You might not kick off your business within 12 months, right? But if you're following the process, it's going to happen eventually. Right. And on the same note, you've got to see whether you are putting yourself slightly outside of your comfort zone. The things are meant to be hard, what Phil's saying, right? That you're trusting your process. It really comes in handy when you're really hitting those those obstacles, those stumps, where you just don't know whether you're doing the right thing or not, but you have other people's examples to follow on. So if it feels like it's a little bit hard, we have the saying here that we love to say in all of our videos if we can, and that is everything you want is just outside of your comfort zone. So why don't you go and try to expand that comfort zone of your, of your own? Absolutely, get comfortable feeling uncomfortable. Right. Okay. And so the next thing, next point we have for you for how to stop procrastinating and start achieving your goals is to actually set shorter milestones. A lot of times people set goals that are one year, two years, three years ahead. And actually, we don't really like that so much. You know, yes, of course, it's great to have a vision, great to have goals that are long term is going to drive you to keep going. But what's going to really make you stop procrastinating is if you have shorter process driven milestones that you can control. So every time you do that, you're just going to feel great. Oh my God, I've just achieved this. I can keep going to the next bit. I can keep going to the next bit. But even while you're doing that, if you find that it's quite difficult to keep yourself going, then we want you to ask yourself, why are you doing it? You need to clarify your why, your reason for putting yourself out there, your reason for putting in the hard work, your reason for doing the activity that's going to help you achieve your goals. If you can't find a reason or your reason is just not good enough, Maybe consider ditching the activity altogether because it's not going to help you or it's not aligned with your vision. Take the pressure off your shoulders, guys. If it's not giving you joy, if it's not giving value to what, or taking you towards your goals, ditch it. 
And I just wanted to clarify one point that we kind of mentioned earlier around, uh, you know, setting those short term goals. I just want to highlight a distinction between the short sightedness. Okay, Mm. the short sighted, the one of the reasons people procrastinate is, you know, they're they're short sighted. That is very much an an issue of being distracted by short, short term kind of pleasures. Yeah. Right. Setting short term goals is a very it's it's completely linked with your long term vision. Okay, yeah. it will always be linked to that vision and it'll get you towards, take you towards that vision. But you will get the short term kind of rewards of achieving these short term milestones that are designed uh, yeah. around achieving the longer term vision. Whereas the short sightedness is you can't, you're so focused on why things aren't working in the short term that you can't see where they fit in the bigger picture. Yeah. And we can probably give an example with the weight loss stuff that you just mentioned earlier. You know, a short sightedness might be you want to lose some weight. You're looking for the next fad diet. You know, you're trying to diet for one week. You want to try a new diet the next week. So that's you short-sightedness and procrastinating to actually do the effort or putting the work it takes to get you to your goals. Short-term process-driven goals, however, can be this week I'm going to eat at my calorie target. This week I'm going to work out four times a week. And then at the end of that week, you celebrate. You're like, great, I achieved that thing. And that can motivate you to keep going and actually work towards the achievement of your overall goal. Exactly. And now we're going to give you the ultimate cure to procrastination. So brace yourself. You bracing yourself, (laughs) right? The ultimate cure to procrastination is action. Okay. We've got a quote here that we like to use. Before you, uh, I mean, I don't don't even know if it's a quote. Maybe it's just a saying. I don't know who who said it. it. (laughs) We're making it up now. I'm quoting it. Okay. (laughs) So... Before you can soar, you've got to leap, right? Everyone wants to soar, and I have no doubt you can soar. But before you can soar, before you can fly, you've got to take the leap, okay? And that is action. You can sit on your couch and say, I really want to kind of get fit. I really want to lose X number of pounds or, or, or kilos. I really want to, um, you know, be a st- even if you have a process goal, process-driven goal, I really want to go to the gym six days a week. Okay, you can think about it all you like, but only until you start walking to the gym are you getting anywhere near achieving that goal. Okay, so action is the ultimate cure to procrastination. Right, so by now, hopefully you have understood why you're currently procrastinating. And we've given you five tips that you can use to stop procrastinating. So make sure you go through this video, watch all of them again, and, and take those boxes if you feel yourself procrastinating. And if you've got any other questions, let us know in the comments below. If you like this sort of content, subscribe over there and turn on the notification bell because you don't want to miss out any of the good content we'll be putting out each and every week. Until next time, see ya.